for that sunrise. I think I'm gonna go try to find a spot to watch this amazing sunrise on Lake Tahoe. It looks pretty spectacular from here, so I hope I don't, it's 11 minutes. Why can't I get with you, but it's 11 minutes to a beach. So I'm gonna go real quick, hopefully. It's a tad bit windy. Hey my friends, I'm all clean and I'm about to go out for some dinner with my friend Arthur who's letting me crash at his house and I've got the dogs barricaded. He said that's not necessary but we're doing that just in case and oh so nice. It's so nice to see my friends, first of all, and it's so nice to have so much support on the road. So, true adventure of the day is trying to get this stupid, I don't even know what it's called, shopping, shopping cart. cart through this parking lot. <laughs> it won't go! All through all the snow. It's not really meant to be off-road. It's a two-man job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the face is when you got stopped earlier. Oh. oh, man. Now we gotta take it back because we're nice and like all these. Just do that. Yeah. <laughs> Hero of the day, taking the cart back. <laughs> it's ridiculous out here. It keeps getting stuck. Yeah, you give up. Just pull it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be nice and go pick him up because he took the cart back and was a good citizen. So I'm gonna return that favor. Megan, my awesome chili. So hopefully it passes the test. It is. Yeah, that's not bad. How am I supposed to go clean that up? Snowing. Well, COVID has hit this house. My uh, friend tested positive for COVID and I'm sick. So we got rapid tests and they're positive for COVID. That's how I feel about it. So I was supposed to leave, but I now I'm in quarantine because I'm sick. But, uh, we're in a pretty nice place to quarantine, so I'm excited to at least be with friends who are sick with me at the same time so that we're not like alone. But yeah, I've got COVID. On when hope calls. Two orphans running an orphanage. Something a little funny. I just cleaned the house and I'm tired. I've got a good morning handsome cup and uh, and relax. You breathe through your nose. Well, it's day three with COVID, and today definitely is the worst day. I'm feeling pretty icky today. I was up all night with a really dry cough, and I kept <coughs> all night long. Um, I don't have aches or anything like that. I did one night have aches, but I haven't had any shakes. I've been taking hot water, warm water with salt, gargles, iodine gargles, and then I'm taking zinc 
vitamin D and uh, I think that's baby aspirin or something like that. I can't remember. I've got a concoction. Um, I actually haven't taken any ibuprofen because I haven't really felt like ill, but I might have to today just because I feel like my throat just like is closed. I can breathe, but like when I swallow, it's like I can't swallow, but it doesn't hurt. I'm just really tired, really tired, and I can't sleep because I've got the, <coughs> you know, but um, yeah, seven degrees outside with a negative feel of, uh, with a negative one real feel, so I'm very thankful to be quarantining in my friend's house. Um, I don't know what I would have done if I was in the Forerunner, because like everywhere I've been wouldn't let me have three dogs, so campgrounds, KOAs, all of that stuff wouldn't let me in with three dogs, even though I asked. So, very fortunate to be where I am and having contracted COVID. Good morning, my friends. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be filming a video for you all because I, honest to God, have uh, not filmed in probably two weeks, which is crazy because <clears throat> I, I try to film and keep you guys updated like as my life goes you know I try to keep you guys within at least two weeks of my life and I haven't filmed in two weeks so I'm like oh crap what am I gonna do because I post once a week and um gosh you guys I tested positive for COVID on uh, on a Saturday and I was sick for probably six days and I'm now starting to feel better um it's been like I don't know another few days since then um, so I'm actually gonna go clean my car and and you know get out run some errands now that I'm not COVID infected anymore my smell is starting to come back but I can't taste anything I door dashed Chipotle the other night and couldn't taste any of it so I was really frustrated because I was like this is annoying for somebody who loves food like I want to be able to taste it I don't want to eat food without taste like that's boring so I decided that like I would just go chop up some vegetables and like you know put peanut butter on it because I still need nutrition and I'll be doggone if I could taste the celery but I couldn't taste my chipotle. I need to get some gas. Not looking forward to it being 518 but you know I am in South Lake Tahoe so what do you do? Anyways you guys I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I was hoping to go on a hike today but so over the holidays, Tahoe got about 17 feet of snow and it's now a few weeks later and they still have a ton of snow. It's melting significantly because a lot of the temps this, since I've been here have been in the 40s. Uh, I think we had one day in the 50s, uh, like 50, not 50s, 50. It's not really melting, so I don't really know what the trail conditions look like, um, but I really want to take advantage of going on a hike now that I'm feeling better. But I am very, very fatigued, so I'm gonna do one thing at a time before I start committing myself to a day full of adventure because just doing the car wash could possibly wipe me out. <laughs> so we'll see. I was really debating, like, is it really worth driving 40 miles out of my way to go get gas? Uh, yes gas in South Lake Tahoe by my friend's house was $5.18 and I am getting it at Costco in Carson City for $3.99. So I'm going to say it was worth $40. Looks like there's a really cool view of the lake up here. Let's 
see if you can get a good view. So I'm just coming down, no big deal. Where'd my leg go? Holy crap, walking in this condition is exhausting. I blame it on COVID, <laughs> even though I fully recovered. <laughs> I'm just sitting here on top of this rock enjoying the view because this is absolutely spectacular and just like taking a moment to like just breathe it all in first time in a week I've been feeling up to doing anything outside gosh it was crazy you know COVID really took me out and I'm just so appreciative of feeling okay right now you know like I'm in an amazing place <laughs> So it was really hard for me to like have to quarantine and, and stay in a house for, you know, for so long. And I'm so thankful to my good friend, Arthur, for opening up his home to me, even though he's the one who gave me COVID. Uh, <coughs> I'm just so thankful that he allowed the dogs and I to stay in his house, like as we quarantined. I mean, he lives in such an amazing spot and like, gosh, I'm so glad that I was able to be here and experience this moment oh, gosh you guys I can't I can't even begin to explain to you how appreciative I am of this just this moment um, I'm so thankful for this moment and I just I'm just in awe I don't really know how to describe this place I mean there's snow everywhere it was crazy my friend who lives here was like he said yeah the week of the holidays it was like it, it dumped like 17 feet of snow in like a week. Uh, you know, not one storm cycle, but like they get three feet one day, three feet the next, and then eventually it accumulated. He was like, it was crazy. And, you know, I asked him, I said, you know, you live in this, amuse this amazing place. Like, what's your favorite season here? And he's like, winter. He said, I could live in this place in the winter time all year round and snowboard and snowmobile and do all the fun activities out here, so. He's very fortunate to live in a place like this, but uh, it is cold at night. It's been in the teens like every night, so I'm so also thankful that like I have a warm place to stay as I recovered. And uh, you know, I'm getting ready to hit the road again and meet up with my mom. And I'm just trying to embrace this moment because I know that here in you know a few days it's going to be back to the grind. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, "Gosh, you must live on vacation every day," and it's like. No, you know, every lifestyle has its pros and its cons, you know, and I have to say, if that's my only meltdown that I've had in almost a year of being a nomad, I feel like I'm doing a pretty daggone good job uh, staying positive and just rolling through it, you know. <clears throat> I don't have meltdowns very often on the road, uh, but that day it was just really bad, you know, nowhere would let me in with my dogs or because I had a tent. Um, they wouldn't let me sleep in my forerunner. I called so many places, you know, it was so discouraging. It all worked out in the end. And, and you know, I think just realizing that just because one moment sucks, one moment might not be good, that doesn't mean that that takes away from everything else that's happened. I have almost been a nomad for a year. I'm coming up on my one year next month. And I'm just like in awe that it's been a year. So much has happened, you know. I started out in a different setup. I had to get a new truck three weeks after getting out on the road. Like so many things happened. <laughs> I overcome so many, overcame so many different obstacles. I'm so proud of myself for the last year. And, and you know, I think really, I look back and I'm just like, I can't believe I made it through all of that. You know, like I went through a lot 
and uh, I stayed positive through it all. And I think that's the biggest key. I think if you can stay positive, your outcome is going to be so much better. Um, so I just try to encourage positivity on this channel and, and, and hopefully through my experiences and my sharings that it encourages you to get out there and do whatever you want to do, whether that's being a nomad or getting out on a, getting a truck camper or an RV of some sort or just going on a road trip, you know, like I, I just have to encourage, like try to see as much of this world as you can. And I only touched the United States. I haven't even gone international a whole lot yet. I mean, I've been to Canada and I've been to Mexico, but I didn't really do anything fun in Mexico. Um, as far as like the touristy side sightseeing, I did mission trips, which was amazing. I saw a whole different side of Mexico than I think a lot of people do when they just go to like Cabo or something. Um, so I would like to go down there again and get involved in the community and stuff, but I really want to go up into Alaska, you guys. That's in my last video, I was talking about my big goals for 2022 and I'm really trying to decide if Alaska is that goal for this year. Um, you know, I haven't quite figured out all the fine details of it. I'm still trying to work out the logistics and how I'm going to work and things like that. But, you know, I'm really, really trying to make an Alaska trip work. You know, I've got really good friends who live up in, in uh, Washington, up towards the border. And I've got a, home, a base camp there, you know, open for me if, if I, I need to. It's so much hospitality. I'm just so thankful for all the people that I... I, I have in my life and that I, I develop new relationships on the road and it's just it's it's so like I, I don't think people realize how I'm gonna get real humble here like it is amazing to me that people are willing to open up their door to someone like me with my three dogs like it means so much I cannot express the feeling that I get when people are like, hey, why don't you stay at my house for, even if it's just one day, you know, like just to get a shower or something like, living in my Forerunner is my choice. I chose to do this. I enjoy this lifestyle, but I still appreciate creature comforts and I don't get those creature comforts in the wintertime at least. So I just, I just can't say thank you enough to everybody who supported me along this journey and, and who continues to and, and open up their door <laughs> a little, uh, puberty there. <laughs> That's a side effect of uh, post COVID. You know, I'm just, I, I just, um, I can't believe it's almost been a year. You guys like, gosh, it's almost been a year. And I just hit 2000 subscribers. There's 2000 people that are subscribed to my channel. Like what? I didn't even think that like when I first started my YouTube channel, I was just doing stuff. Like I rewatched my first video I ever made. I was like, and I did that because the hiking guy told me, he, well, he didn't tell me. He, he was talking about in a live video about like going back and watching your first videos and stuff. And I was like, oh gosh, I'm cringing. I'm watching this video and it's like so terrible. But like, it is so cool that I've documented these, these little adventures that I've gone on over the last few years because like I look back and I'm like oh my gosh I forgot about that you know it's so, like when I'm older and I want to look back on my life like that's what I started this all for and, and it has just grown like this is so humbling like I'm so excited that like 2,000 people are subscribed to my channel and some of my videos have like 20,000 views and I'm just like what what I can't believe it but then like I have videos that, like only have 100 views so like you know whatever but I'm not doing it for the views I'm not doing it for like the subscriber count I'm doing it because I want to document my life and if anything in my life could has meaning for somebody else like they can learn from something that I have done um or you know maybe encourage you to get out there like that's what it's all about but yeah, I started this whole thing just so that my family in California could watch what I was doing, you know, keep up with my adventures, like, cause I go on backpacking trips and that's something I really want to do more of in 2022, you guys, 2021 was awesome. I, I did go on some amazing backpacking trips. Like I went to the Wind River Range. Oh my gosh, I love the Wind River Range, you guys. It's like one of my favorite places in the whole United States that I've been to so far. So I definitely want to get back out there and, and get in the wind and, and do another backpacking trip. So I've done two of the big tra uh, trails out there. I want to go and do some of the less comp, like the less traveled trails, see some of the lakes that don't have as many people there and just really get immersed in that, in that um, environment. And so I'm really torn because like, I want to go up to Alaska and I want to do this big road trip. 
but I want to go backpacking and I really want to go back to Montana and Wyoming and, and really get deep down in there. But I need someone to go backpacking with me in Glacier because like I don't want to do it by myself because that's like deep, heavy, grizzly country. And like I've always made a promise to my parents that like I wouldn't do uh, Glacier by myself or, or anything like that. Like I have done the winds and there are grizzlies in the winds, but you know, it's not like, I don't know, it, it's not the same. Um, you know, I feel more comfortable like with the dog and bear spray, like going in into the winds, but like Glacier, absolutely not. Like I don't, I don't like when I went to Glacier National Park last time and, and, um, I, I went on a backpacking trip with my friend Don. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll, it's somewhere. I'll put it there. Um, super amazing trip. Like I was so in awe with Montana and Glacier National Park. Like it's gorgeous. You guys, it's gorgeous. Um, but I don't want to backpack that alone. So I need like to find a friend that wants to go with me and, and, uh, you know, not a lot of people want to, want to go out and do that. Like they, they'd rather go do like a resort or something. That's totally fine. Um, so I have to decide like, do I want to go up to Alaska or do I want to go back to these places that I've been and explore more, you know, cause 2021, I didn't explore a whole lot. I did a couple backpacking trips, but I didn't do it like I have been in the past. Like last, the years before I go like every vacation, I go backpacking. And I did so much hiking the years before and I didn't do a whole lot. I was really just learning how to live as a nomad. And it was just like 2021 was my, my discovery year, I guess, like discovering like new places and, and new lifestyles and learning how to like navigate and figure things out. And so like for 2022, I want to actually like go back into the wilderness and just like, I've got this nomad thing under control. You know, I'm st still not, I still have so much to learn, but like I've, I've got a good foundation. You know, it's been almost a year, you guys, next month, less than a month is a year on the road, man. I can't believe like, where did that year go? Oh man, this lifestyle is so cool. I'm getting really hyped up for it. I'm getting goosebumps. I, I need to just stop talking. I've been talking for like 10 minutes. And I mean, after I edit this, it might not be 10 minutes, but I, according to my phone, it's been 10 minutes and 55 seconds that I've been yammering on about whatever. And I, I don't know if you guys like it when I just, just talk like this, if you'd rather just see, you know, what's around me, but this is what I'm talking about, man. This is my life. And I am just so humbled by that. And I am so grateful for this opportunity. And, and I have worked so hard to get here. And, you know, sometimes I take it for granted. Like last video, I got grumpy on the road, man. Like, why am I getting grumpy on the road? Like, it's all gonna work out. Just see the Snickers. I think I was nomadic out, outdoor. Anyway, I'll put your name down there. I'm sorry, I can't remember right now. I'm so like immersed in my, my, my thoughts right now. But like, gosh, you guys, this is, this is what it's all about. Sitting on a rock. <laughs> and South Lake Tahoe with all this snow just embracing the amazing views that God put in my life right now like gosh you guys got it so good got it so good anyways I'm gonna go <laughs> look at the lake because like my back's been to the lake this whole time so that you guys have had a better view and I don't even think I have a good view for you guys like I don't know <laughs> can't really tell it's super sunny but uh, I'm gonna go turn around and and watch this view for a few minutes, just unwind and just take it all in because, you know, I got to get back to the grind here soon. And yeah, let's uh, sit down and get my puffy belly all, all uh, de-puffed a little. Yeah, gosh, you guys, this is, this is what it's about. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired though. I think the worst side effect from post COVID is the fatigue. Like I can't even like walk a half a mile without being pooped. Yeah. I don't want to overdo myself. I, this is the first day I've actually been like feeling good that I know I'm not contagious and I don't want to like go back <laughs> backwards. So I don't think I'm going to do too much more hiking today anyway but I'm hoping I feel better tomorrow because I'd love for my friend Arthur to go snowboarding with me take you along on that journey I don't know I've never snowboarded before so it might not be worth watching but we'll see it, maybe it'll be funny because like I'll be falling the whole time and maybe I could make like a, a blooper reel if I end up going we'll see how I feel <laughs> it all depends on how I feel <laughs> I'm just sitting here on this rock and I'm like, I look down and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that gnarly looking tree. <laughs> it's so cool. Gosh, this place is amazing. Thank <laughs> you.
besides this route. This is like a little stair with all the sh snowshoe prints. <sighs> Man, I walked up that hill and I have to go back down to the car. Well, good exercise.